Yo, Jeff. Yo. How is it skating? How old are you? 43 years old. How is it skating now compared to then? Um, it's just as beautiful. It's just a lot more difficult. Yeah. Um, in 100 degrees like this, how you yeah, feeling? 100 degrees, hottest day of the year. Tomorrow's gonna be hotter, but we'll chalk it up as the hottest day of the year so far. <laughs> um, I can fuck up a spreadsheet way better than uh, hauling over a trash can, but at least I'm doing it. <laughs> Since its establishment, Supreme has made it clear that it is a skateboarding brand, releasing new skateboarding items every season. At the very beginning, it started sponsoring and establishing its own skateboard team. Later when they expanded their store globally, the store managers all came from the skateboarding realm. You had people such as Dan Jagger, the manager of the London store, and Jefferson Peng, the manager of the Brooklyn store, who are skateboarding legends of the 80s and 90s. Today, Sub With Me is introducing Supreme's original skateboard team members and what their lives looked like afterwards. Supreme's skateboard team had a strong influence on the brand's early popularity. Thrasher magazine also, to a certain extent, helped Supreme gain popularity in the skateboarding world. Their skateboard team was composed of local skaters such as Gio Esteves and others who would sport Supreme items at skateboarding venues in New York City such as the Brooklyn Banks, Time Life Building, and Astor Place. In 1995, director Thomas Campbell also helped them shoot the first Supreme skateboard documentary, A Love Supreme. At that time, Alex Corporan, the store manager of the Supreme New York store, said that they treated these skaters as family members and they were the ones representing the brand out in public. The original Supreme skateboard team consisted of a group of friends who for the most part knew each other already or had skateboarded together in the past. In the 1990s, the attention on the skateboarding industry was mainly on that of the West Coast, but Ryan Hickey was one of the skaters representing New York at that time. Early on, he was on the Zoo York skateboard team along with his teammate Harold Hunter. After some conflict with Zoo York, he joined the Supreme skateboard team. He retired from skateboarding around 24 or 25. Aside from being injured, the commercialization of it all was killing his love of skateboarding. He wanted skateboarding to be something he could enjoy stress-free. Now he's the father of two children, fishing, and living in New York. Jefferson Peng immigrated from the United Kingdom. He was one of the earliest professional skateboarders in New York. He was sponsored by Underworld Element and was on the shut skate team of Zoo York. He played the role of Jeff in Larry Clark's movie Kids. He has worked hard to support skateboarding culture for many years and later became the manager of Supreme's Brooklyn store in New York. Justin Pierce, also originally from Zoo York's skateboard team, could alongside Jeffrey Pang be considered the two most famous people on the Supreme skateboard team. He played Casper in Larry Clark's movie Kids. The director found Pierce while he was skateboarding in Washington Square Park. He later moved to Los Angeles to start a career in acting. However, he once mentioned that he didn't like life in Los Angeles as he felt that the people there were too fake. Unfortunately, on July 20th of the year 2000, he was found passed away in a hotel room in Las Vegas. He was just 25 years old. Gio Estevez was the first employee hired at Supreme in New York City. In addition to skating, he also did designs for other brands. He currently runs his own brand, ANX Originals, which is active in the United States, Europe, and Japan, and from time to time also collaborates with other brands to launch products. Peter Beachy saw his friends with a group of skaters on the street when he was 14 and thought it looked cool. Since then, he's been in love with skateboarding. He was sponsored by Nimbus, then later joined the New York skate team. In addition to skateboarding, he was also a model for the well-known clothing brand Calvin Klein. He did not graduate from high school, but later joined the New York City Fire Department. It's a job that required a great deal of effort, but one that he also did with great pride. Chris Keefe also came from the New York skateboarding team. He was sponsored by infamous Venture Trucks, Supreme, and Vans in his early 20s. Prior to that, he often hung out with his friends around the Supreme store on Lafayette Street. Keith opened a DQM store specializing in skateboarding supplies and shoes on Bowery in New York, one of the earlier skateboarding stores founded in New York City. In 2011, the Vans DQM General Store opened in the Soho District of New York, and in 2013, a branch opened on Newbury Street in Boston. Jones Keefe is Chris Keefe's brother, who is sponsored by infamous Venture Trucks and Vans. He stopped skateboarding for three years to give graffiti a try, then later returned to skateboarding. Although many people compare his skills to that of his brother Chris Keefe, both had their own unique styles. 
Mike Hernandez was already famous in the mid-1990s. He shot an advertisement for the famous Ventura trucks in 1995. Later, like Peter Beachy, he joined the FDNY Ladder 118 in Brooklyn. In 2001, six firefighters from Ladder 118 died during 9-11. Chari & Co., a well-known bicycle brand in New York City, launched a series of t-shirts in 2012 to commemorate the heroes of Ladder 118. Mike Hernandez also appeared in the 9-11 promotion by the American insurance company State Farm in 2011. In 2016, he and Peter Beachy filmed a fall lookbook for Huff. Some of these original Supreme Skate Team members are still working for Supreme today, and some have gone into other fields. They have expressed that they miss and cherish the past when they were hanging out around the Supreme store, going to Astor Place to skateboard together after the store closed. They felt that skateboarding brought them together and allowed them to meet people from all over the globe. This enthusiasm has also been passed down to the newer generation of the Supreme Skate Team, with skaters such as Aiden Mackey, Ben Cadeau, and Jason Dill. That's about it for today. In the next episode, we'll share Supreme's box logo collections. If you find any inaccuracies, please feel free to let us know in the comments down below. If you like our content, please continue to watch our videos and consider subscribing. Please stay healthy during this time, and we'll see you in the next video.